We'll begin on our bellies today. So you can bring your belly down to the mat, finding crocodile pose. If it's comfortable for your hips, you can point the feet outward, heels in. Otherwise, you can just have your feet flat to the mat. And shake out through the low back, lengthen through the spine. Make a little table with your palms for your forehead to rest. And breathing down deep into your lower belly. Notice the expansion that happens in your low back as you breathe. Anytime we have our head down like this, it helps us come back to a place of groundedness. It calms the mind. Taking a couple more breaths down deep, feeling the back rise and fall with the breath. Feeling the rib cage expand and contract. With your breath, drawing your attention inward, noticing the state of your mind and your body. You can begin to move out of crocodile, removing the hands from underneath the forehead, bringing them to a goal post and stretching each leg out long behind you. We'll take the right palm down by the right hip, bend through the right knee, and point the knee straight behind you as you draw the ankle in toward the glute. So this is a very active stretch. You're pressing the knee into the mat as you're stretching. We'll do the other side. You can look towards the left bend through the left knee, point it back towards the back of the mat as you draw the foot in toward the glute. Release the foot back to the mat. We'll bring the hands to the sides of the rib cage. Inhale, we'll peel the chin and chest up off the mat, looking forward for baby cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, bring the shoulder blades together in the back as you lift. Exhale, release. Pubic bone is anchored down to the mat. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, release down to the mat. We'll push back up into tabletop pose from here. And from this tabletop pose, we'll take a couple rounds of cat and cow. Inhaling to drop the belly, lifting the gaze up. Exhale, tucking the tail, gazing toward the belly button. Inhale, opening the heart. Exhale, bringing the belly button in toward the spine. Move through cat and cow at your own pace with your own breath. Moving as slowly as you need to. And feeling each movement in your spine. Come back to tabletop, engage through the core, and extend the right leg long behind you. Right heel is going to be at the same level as the right hip. Find this engagement, and then if you want more, you can extend through the left fingertips. Bicep is by the ear, thumb is pointing up. So you're feeling this strength in the core, this balance, and strength in this posture. Take one more breath, inhaling and exhaling, and then you can slowly and with control release both the hand and the knee back down to the mat. Take one round of cat and cow to release from that, and then we'll move into the other side. So we'll take now the left leg out long, Left heel is at the same level as your glute. You can look back and check to make sure that is the case. And then extend long through the right fingertips. Feel that core engagement. 
feel yourself breathe. You might feel a little bit of heat starting to be created from this more challenging pose. And we'll take one more breath in and out. Slowly and with control, you can release from the pose. From here, you can take your hips into a couple circles or side to side. Maybe a cat and cow would feel good. And then we'll make our way into a child's pose. So with this, you can keep your big toes together, taking the knees far apart, reaching long through the fingertips. We'll start to slowly rise back up to tabletop. Find that engagement in the core. Send the right leg back, straight in alignment with the hip, left arm forward. And you can choose to stay here or you can reach the left arm back to find the right foot. And really press that foot into the hand as you feel the shoulder open. Stay strong through the core and breathe. Full breath in, full breath out, and slowly release. Re-extending the arm and leg out long. Exhaling, bringing the knee to the elbow. Inhale out long. Exhale, knee to elbow, hollowing out through the abdomen. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, one last time, knee to elbow. Re-extend long. And then we'll bring everything back down to table. Set up for the other side. Extend the left leg out long. Right arm extends. Breathe. And then if you want a little more, reach back. Find the foot. Press the foot into the hand. Feel this nice back bend, shoulder opener. Breathing. One breath in and out and slowly and with control you can release the grip, re-extend along, exhale bring the elbow to the knee, inhale find length, exhale contract the abdomen, inhale to find length, exhale knee to elbow, squeeze it in, inhale out long, Bring everything back down to the mat for table. It might feel really good to take a couple of hip circles or maybe a cat and cow. Let's take the right leg extended out long and then bring the right foot through the hands to find a low lunge. Inhale, arms can rise. Sink the hips down. Settle in. And then we'll twist open to the side. So bringing the right hand behind, left fingertips point forward. And if you want a little bit more, you can bring the right hand to the back thigh, reaching open, bringing the left hand up and over for a little side bend. So re-extend in your twist. And then we'll bring the left palm down by the foot Re-extend long through the right hand as you find another variation of a twist. Frame the front foot and we'll bring the hips back. Extend the right leg long. You can flex through the right heel for a little hamstring stretch. Find table and we'll do this all on the other side. Extend the left leg out. And then we'll hug it through, place it between the hands, set up for your low lunge, sink into the hips. We'll find that same twist. So bring the left hand behind, right hand pointing forward, twisting towards the other side. If you'd like, you can bring the left hand to the thigh behind, reaching and finding a side bend, feeling length through the right side of the body. 
We'll take that into an easy twist, placing the right hand down to the mat, left fingertips up toward the sky. Try to stack your left shoulder on top of the right. And we'll move into that hamstring stretch, sending the hips back, folding over. Release the neck. So we'll find downward facing dog, sending the hips up, pedaling out through the feet a little bit, finding length through the spine. And then we'll take the right leg up, extend it up high, and then we'll bend the knee and open up the right hip. So try to keep your shoulders in alignment facing the mat, just the hip opens here. Re-extend the leg long and then bring it through the hands. We're going to set up for warrior one. So back foot is 45 degrees, front toes are pointing forward. And feel your right hip draw back, left hip draw forward, so your hips are square to the front of the mat. Draw the elbows behind, open the heart, feel a slight back bend as you gaze up. Feel your shoulder blades squeeze together in the back body. Feel your hips square to the front of the mat. Notice how you feel in the strong pose. Inhale, we'll bring the hands back above head. And then exhale, start to balance on the right foot, bringing the left leg through and extend the leg long in front of you. This takes a lot of strength in the psoas and the hip flexors. And then we'll bend through the left knee, find warrior three, sweeping the hands behind. Left foot is an extension of the hip long line from the crown of the head to the left heel. And take one more breath here, breathing in and out slowly and with control, place the left leg back down, finding warrior one. Exhale, you can bring the hands down to frame the foot. And take a vinyasa, you can find plank, exhaling, Maybe the first time you can go all the way down to the belly. Inhale to find cobra opening through the heart. Exhale, find downward facing dog, lifting the hips up toward the sky, allowing the head to be heavy. We'll extend the left leg up high, bend the knee, open up the hip. Realign the hip and we'll bring the left leg through placing the foot between the hands and setting up for warrior one on the other side. And pulling the left hip back, right hip forward, aligning your hips to face the front of the mat. And we'll squeeze the elbows back behind, feeling the heart open wide and gazing up. And take another full breath in this posture, breathing in, filling the lungs with air and exhaling out, re-extending the arms long, and then we'll start to balance on the left leg, extending the right leg out, feeling the glutes strong, holding here for a breath, and then bend into the right knee, and slowly send it back as you sweep the arms back behind, finding warrior three, Feel the core strong, feel the back strong. And as you're ready, exhaling and bending through the knee and placing it back down, finding that warrior one, extending the arms long. And then frame the front foot, taking your vinyasa plank, Exhale, chaturanga, squeezing the elbows in, hovering halfway. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, finding downward facing dog. Find your breath. And we'll look up to the top of the mat. Walk the feet towards the hands. Inhale, we'll find halfway lift, straight, flat back. Exhale, fold. You can bend the knees. 
hollow out through the abdomen and roll up to stand. Find mountain pose. We'll bring the big toes together, heels slightly apart, sink down into chair pose. Feeling the tailbone point down toward the earth. Feel the core engage so that the low back is supported. The legs are strong, the thighs are squeezing in toward one another. We can bring the palms together, hands to the heart. We'll twist over to the left, hooking the left elbow to the outside of the right thigh, stacking one shoulder on top of the other, and look down to make sure both knees are pointed forward. Start to balance on the right foot and slowly send the left foot back, finding your twisted high lunge. Gently untwist with the prayer hands. Inhale, extend the arms up high for high lunge. And bending into the right knee, feeling strength all the way through the back of the left leg. We'll begin to balance on the right foot, leaning forward and bringing the left foot out in front. Again, extending through, feeling that left hip flexor muscle group work hard. And we'll bend the knee, we'll catch hold of the left foot with the left hand and start to kick into dancer's pose. So the right arm is extended out long, the left foot is kicking into the left hand, and the knee is pointing back. Exhale, bring it all back down, allowing the foot to come back down to the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms up high above head, Exhale, dive down for a forward fold. Bend the knees, round the spine, and come back up to stand. Mountain pose. Bring the big toes together, heels slightly apart, sink down into the chair. Biceps are along the ears. Feel the thighs engage. Feel the abdomen and the core engage to protect the low back. Bring the hands to prayer position at the heart and we'll twist the other way. Right elbow hooks to the outside of the left thigh. Knees are pointed forward. And we'll start to balance the weight into the left foot and send the right foot back to find twisted high lunge. Begin to untwist yourself, coming up to high lunge. Bending into that left leg, and feeling strong through the back of the right leg. Start to balance the weight into the left foot as you bring your right foot up and through extending the leg long as you find strength in your core. Take another breath. Exhale, bend the knee. You're gonna find dancer on this side. The right hand is gonna find the right foot. And start to kick into that foot bringing the knee straight behind, not allowing it to splay out. And gaze is on something that isn't moving. And exhale, start to slowly come out of dancer with control. Bring the arms up and above, inhale, exhale, sweep them forward as you bend forward. Inhale to find half lift, exhale to fold, find your way to plank, exhale chaturanga, hovering halfway, 
Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come back to your breath. From here, we're going to ripple through to plank, being very strong in the core, finding plank pose. Exhale, pulling the hips up and back as you ripple back to downward facing dog. Let's do that again. Inhale, slowly and with control to plank. Exhale, find down dog. Inhale, core is strong as you slowly ripple forward to plank. Exhale, let the knees come down to the mat. Sink the hips back towards the heels. Walk the hands behind, fingertips pointing forward. Open through the heart as you point the knees forward. Actively pressing the knees in to the mat, lifting through the heart. Begin to walk the hands forward, making your way to child's pose, sinking the hips back. Knees can be wide, big toes drawing together, reaching and stretching through the fingertips, feeling the spine lengthen. Take a breath in and out. Begin to rise, make your way to your belly, and we'll stretch each leg out long, reaching and extending, creating space into the low back. You can rotate the head to the right, bending through the right knee and taking hold of the right foot with the right hand, actively pressing the knee away from the body toward the back of the mat. Release, move to the other side. Head turns the other way, left knee bends. Take hold of the foot and actively press that knee away. As you stretch through the quads, gently release. We'll make our way to bow pose, bending through both knees, reaching the arms back and taking hold of the feet. Inhale to kick the feet into the hands, feeling the heart open, feeling the knees draw back toward the back of the mat, breathing down deep into the low belly. We're here for one more breath in and out. Gently release, bringing everything back down to the mat. And take three deep intentional breaths in crocodile, breathing and expanding through the back and gently releasing. Make your way to your back. Bring your feet to the mat, knees bent. Extend the left leg out long, actively pressing through the left heel as you draw the right knee in toward the armpit. You can stay here or take half happy baby, holding on to the foot with the right hand and pressing into that left heel. And take your left hand to the top of the left thigh to Feel the engagement here, feel the stretch. And take one more breath in and out, releasing gently. Bring both feet back to the mat, extend the right leg long, hug the left knee in toward the armpit, Staying here or moving into half happy baby. Taking the left foot in the left hand, drawing the knee toward the armpit and actively pressing through the right heel. Taking that right hand to the top of the right thigh. One more breath in and out. You can gently release the hold of the right foot. Take both feet back to the mat, taking a spinal twist, crossing the left thigh over the right. You can take the arms out wide, 
and drop both legs over to the left. Breathing and releasing. Feeling that right shoulder as it connects to the earth. On an exhale, you can begin to unravel, drawing the knees in toward the chest. We'll take the left thigh over the right, letting both knees fall over to the right side, feeling the left shoulder as it presses into the mat. And as you're ready, slowly unwinding from your twist. And we'll set up for fish pose, extending the legs long, taking the palms face down and sliding them under the glutes. As you bend your elbows, allow yourself to hinge and your heart opens. Crown of the head comes down to the mat. Feel the front of your throat stretch. Feel your rib cage expand. Breathe deeply. Take one more breath here, inhaling fully and exhaling. Tuck the chin toward the chest to bring the back of the head to the mat. And you can shimmy your arms out from underneath. Hug the knees in toward the chest. Hug everything in in a tight ball. Exhale, release. Take up space. Find Shavasana, allowing everything to come into stillness, allowing the practice to all come together, allowing everything to integrate into your body, letting all the dust settle. And feeling yourself fully surrender to the mat. Invite a conscious inhalation and exhale, let it all go. Inviting slow and mindful movements back into your body. Maybe taking the body into a full body stretch before making your way slowly to your side and eventually pushing yourself up into a comfortable seated position. And once seated, plant your hips firmly on the earth. Inhale the arms sweeping around, encircling yourself. Exhale the hands through to heart center. 
Inhale, enveloping yourself. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, encircling yourself in light and in love. Exhale, hands come through to heart center. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Please subscribe and leave a comment below if you'd like to see more videos like this.